Welcome to the Worldwide Kilga community. This tutorial is most useful after you know how to use the basic search options, such as which display option to pick, and how to fill in the word search string text box. Here we will examine how to use the sorting and limits options to make our searches more effective and obtain the results we want. The sorting and the limits options specify what results will appear for any given search and how they will be organized. The sorting option changes the order in which our results appear, either by frequency, by relevance, or in alphabetical order. The limits option either broadens or narrows the set of results. In the default search setting for COCA, both the sorting option and the limits option are set to frequency. When we sort by frequency, the corpus sorts the results by how often they appear in the corpus. The frequency default for the limits option appears in the box to the right of the minimum menu. The limit number is automatically entered as 10 tokens. However, the limit will not apply to the search unless the checkbox to the left of the number is selected. Selecting this limit means that only those strings that have at least 10 occurrences in the corpus will appear. A string is the term or phrase we are searching for. If we are searching for a less common string, such as the phrase, run to the bank, Removing the limit will expand the results to include all occurrences. We can also do the opposite with strings that are very frequent, and change the limits number to be higher to only include the most frequent results. We will discuss this option further when we discuss sorting by relevance. Okay. We use the collocates option to search for words that appear together. For the purpose of this search, we will use a wildcard as our collocate string. When we click the search button, the defaults options in the sorting and limits menu change automatically. The sorting option is still set to frequency, but the limits option changes to mutual info. Mutual info, or mutual information, is a score for how closely two words are semantically linked together. The corpus compares how often the search string appears with the collocate to the overall frequency of the search string in the corpus. A mutual info score of 3 indicates high semantic bonding between the search string and the collocate. The strings appear in descending order of the TOT column, or number of tokens in the corpus. The column below all lists the total number of tokens in the corpus for the collocate string. The percent is the calculation of tokens occurring with the search string divided by the total number of tokens in the entire corpus. This is the mutual info score. Limiting our results by their mutual info score will eliminate the noise words while showing the results in order of frequency. However, we can also sort by relevance and display results from the highest mutual information score to the lowest mutual information score. When we search with frequency mutual info, we can see in this column that the results are not sorted by the mutual info score. When we change the sorting to relevance frequency, we see that the results are now sorted by the mutual info score. However, the results that are displayed are more nonsensical. As discussed before, we can address this problem through limiting by frequency. For example, if we set the limit to 10, we obtain better results as it removes the isolated tokens that may have a higher mutual score because they occur fewer times. In searches that involve more than one word, such as searches for collocates or to compare words, we have the option of sorting by relevance and limiting by mutual info. The relevance mutual info option generally highlights words that are most tightly connected with the search string. The relevance mutual info option is especially helpful when we use the compare feature. For instance, we can use the relevance mutual info options when we want to compare the usage of two synonyms to discover subtle differences in the usage between the words. We will accomplish this by deselecting both checkboxes. The tokens displayed in this column only occur with string 1. The tokens in this column only occur with string 2. This feature is useful for identifying subtle differences between the usage of two synonyms. Here we can see that these two synonyms have a specific group of words with which they are most commonly used. In many cases, these words are not interchangeable. For example, while you may say, I was a little embarrassed, you would not say, I was a small embarrassed. On the other hand, while you may talk about small businessmen, you would not talk about little businessmen, unless you're referring to short ones. <laughs> We also have the ability to sort results alphabetically. When we alphabetize the results, the bias given by frequency or relevance is removed.
As we now know, when we change the sorting and limits options, we obtain more specific results. These results help us to use Calcut more effectively. Thank you.